proactive in identifying needy students who are not reporting to school. Now, the Danish government will offer Kenya 4 billion shillings that will go towards efforts to improve access to reproductive health services and the fight against gender-based violence. Danish ambassador to Kenya, Ole Tonke, says part of the money will also go towards the campaign against harmful cultural practices such as female genital mutilation. He was speaking during the launch of the annual report on the implementation of the commitments made by Kenya at the International Conference on Population and Development Summit in 2019. Kenya made strides in meeting some of these commitments, including ending FGM, reducing maternal deaths, and ensuring a 100% transition rate from primary to secondary school. Coordination of national government activities as a county level through establishment of national planning offices as the counties. Even though there's been tremendous progress here in Kenya, uh, there's still a lot of challenges. Uh, and what we see out of the data is a very diverse picture uh, of Kenya. There are some areas and counties of Kenya that are still falling behind and where a lot of extra work is indeed needed, where women are still victims of, uh, of gender-based violence or harmful practices, uh, and, and that really needs an extra effort, especially in these times of, of drought and suffering of the local communities. For Denmark, uh, we, we stay committed, uh, and when you have a success story, you really want to continue to build on that. So we have reserved 4.4 billion Kenyan shilling uh, out of our country program uh, to Kenya and our partnership with Kenya for uh, primary health care. As the world celebrated Valentine's Day, more flower sales were expected. However,